Hello and welcome back. This is Christopher Aaron. This is the iGold Advisor channel. It is September 4th, 2024. I hope you had a nice long weekend. We are going to answer the question, US dollar, will it collapse? There are a lot of rumors that because of the BRICS nations agreements, there are rumors that because of the level of debt in the United States that they are going to have to devalue the dollar, that there may be a collapse imminent. Is this accurate? We will look at it in this video. Make sure to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when these free videos come out on YouTube. If you have a quick second to give it a thumbs up, I would appreciate that because it helps out our channel on YouTube. Last but not least, make sure you follow our free Twitter account, or X as it is now known, at iGlobalGold, because sometimes I don't have a chance to post videos here during the week, but I often post quicker updates for free on this X feed. Okay, let's get into this, our legal disclaimer first. And here we go. So US dollar, we have to be very careful when we're listening to what? The storytellers. And it's not just fly by night type operations. Look, this article out of Forbes, institutions are coming. The $35 trillion US collapse and then, of course, this one we all know and some of us love, some of us don't love. Peter Schiff warns of the looming U.S. dollar crisis and economic collapse. And then we can look at Robert Kiyosaki, how to plan for the potential dollar crash, right? All these stories about a dollar crash and stories require what? Storytellers, but is there any truth in this? Is there truth in this story of a US dollar collapse? And here's where I want to come back to the point that I made last week, which is that all market knowledge has a cost. And if you are going to listen to the quote unquote free fundamental analysis out there, remember I offer a paid research and analysis subscription so you're just seeing a snippet of the paid research here. But if you're going to listen to the free fundamental analysis like we just saw, remember that you have the chance of being taken advantage of by either what the pumpers or the storytellers. We talked about both of these business models and how this service is different from that. And can we really say that there's any difference between a storyteller and someone who would, let's say, just read a children's book? I mean, these might be nice stories, but and they might make you feel nice, but if you really want someone to just read you a story before bedtime, why don't you just do that? Because when we're actually talking about the markets, if we listen to storytellers, that is going to have a cost in the long run. So what I do here is to not tell stories. Let's look at the reality of the U.S. dollar. Here is the dollar index from 2007 to 2024. Let's draw a very simple trend analysis for the U.S. dollar here. This is the dollar versus a basket of fiat currencies. And take a look at this and simply notice the most obvious yet the most powerful fact that all of those stories and all of those storytellers are not telling you. What is that? Well, it should be plain to see. The dollar is in a 16-year rising trend as we are speaking, currently trading at 101.6 on the index. 16 years of the dollar rising versus other fiat currencies. And then you might be saying, well, who cares about this rising trend? Maybe the dollar is still going to collapse. You know, Maybe the debt is going to get so great or the other problems in the U.S. economy is going to get so great that the storytellers tell you about who cares about these types of rising trends. Let's go back to the U.S. stock market from the year 2002 to 2009 and simply notice together that it was the breaking of a very similar multi-year trend, the break right there, and then the failed retest 
that preceded what? The crash in the U.S. and the global markets. This was the global financial crisis of 2008 and 2009. Not only was this a 57% crash in the largest stock market in the world, this was the largest market crash in over 100 years. And you're telling me that this wasn't important to follow back then? It wasn't important to observe when the most important yet the most simple and powerful signal was revealed, which is you have a multi-year rising channel and then a trend break telling us this rise is over. And what can happen after a multi-year rise is that there can, in fact, manifest a crash in the opposite direction. So, of course, this is important to pay attention to the actual reality of the markets. Let's go back to the dollar. The actual, ri- the actual reality of the U.S. dollar here is that this rising trend is not over. So anyone who's telling you a story about an imminent U.S. dollar crash, crash of the fiat currency, a crash, a crash of the debt market or the bond market, it's not to be seen. Where is the evidence for it? Feel free to take a screenshot and show them this chart. If the dollar was about to crash, it would have broken this rising trend already. And it is not doing that. So we have to be extremely careful about listening to the pumpers and the paid storytellers. And I have a different business model here, which is to focus on the reality of the markets. You might not like it. Maybe you're married to another story or narrative. If that's the case, this channel is not for you. Here we look at the reality of the markets in the cold, hard manner possible, focusing on the truth of the actual price. And so then we might say, well, how long is this rising trend going to go? 16 years? I mean, is this going to continue for another year, another five years, another 10? What about another 16 years? The answer is simply that it is going to be rising until proven otherwise. We just looked at when the U.S. stock market proved otherwise back in 2008, and then it crashed. It broke the trend. The trend was no longer valid. And that is the prelude to a change in direction. So if we were to see the U.S. dollar here closing below the 95 level, we could talk about a possible market crash for the dollar. At this point, zero evidence for it. Zero. So be careful listening to those storytellers, Peter Schiff, Robert Kiyosaki, the others who talk about a dollar crash. If anything, we want to talk about the currency that may be the first to crash of the fiat currencies. It is the euro. Notice that the euro has broken right here a 40-year rising trend. That trend is broken. Notice also that the euro has failed to recapture this trend. If the euro is going to play out similar to how the U.S. stock market did back in the crash of 2008, the thing that is going to come next is a precipitous decline at the very least back to former all-time lows, if not further. And that would be the prelude to something like a crash, not in the value for the U.S. dollar, but in the value for the other fiat currency, which is the euro. And I can think of several potential reasons why this might be the case. It might be that the war that's currently going on between Russia and Ukraine spreads to the rest of Europe, mainland Europe. And maybe Europe has its economy decimated and they have to print you know, trillions of euros out of thin air. And so therefore, even though there are problems in the U.S. economy, maybe there are even more problems in, in the eurozone. Or maybe it's that the Federal Reserve in the United States tries to lower interest rates, but they're not able to lower rates very much, whereas in Europe, they lower rates much further than in the United States. And that would cause an interest rate discrepancy, which would cause the euro to lose value but the dollar to maintain the value. Whatever the reason is, here's the evidence. This is not hypothetical. The euro is the one that has a 40-year trend break, failed retest, 
The next logical thing is for the trend to start moving in the opposite direction as the former broken trend. And then this sets up for the potential for a crash within the next few years. So we have to watch the euro very carefully here, not the US dollar at this time. Once again, be careful if you are going to be listening to the pumpers or the storytellers out there, you are going to pay one way or another. Decide how that's going to be. If you would like to join us in our premium subscription in which we produce analysis like this, but covering not only the euro and the US dollar, but also the gold market, the silver market, the mining sector, Bitcoin, the rest of the commodity complex, the service for you is called Precious Metals Intelligence Plus. We produce weekly premium videos just like you're seeing today, much more in depth. Flash updates go right to your inbox whenever we make a buy or sell decision. And last week, we spent about 20 minutes analyzing the copper market. I know there are a lot of precious metals investors who are interested in copper. Is this the time to be backing up the truck on copper? We've got the answer in the last premium weekly video. If you are a higher net worth investor, you have to understand that in private placements, which we do in our elite private placement service, which is a separate service, we have the ability to eliminate our risk in precious metals related investments while retaining the profit potential. And the way that we're able to do that is via the warrants. We receive free warrants with every single investment that we are making. And those warrants grant us the ability to participate in the upside for gold and silver mining companies, even if we take our initial capital off the table. It's an extremely powerful position to be in. Check out our service, Elite Private Placements, if you want to learn more. If you would like to sit down with myself, Christopher Aaron, and discuss your situation, if you're looking at diversifying, if you're in another country and you're saying, well, you know, should I be buying gold? Should I be buying US dollars, right? Should I be buying other asset classes? Let's talk about it. I can tell you what I would do in your situation. And I simply come at this from a researched independent perspective. I am not a pumper of any one asset class. Everything moves in cycles. Things move higher, things move lower. And we simply have to align with the cycles at the right time. So if this kind of analysis appeals to you, know that we can tailor it to your situation. You can book a consultation right on the website. The takeaway, there is zero evidence for a crash in the US dollar if anything, the crash is going to be in the euro or other major currencies. So be very careful who you're listening to and think about planning appropriately.